Hey everybody, here we go with Lesson 1A, and Lesson 1A, um, this is our first lesson together, so there will be moments where you need to pause. These lessons should take around 25 or 30 minutes each, and every class day we will be doing two lessons, about two lessons, maybe three, and you will need to invest quality time and thought and diligence with these and not just skim through them. It's just like anything else in life worth having. Uh, the more time you invest, the better the outcome probably is going to be. So in this very first part, read along as I read the first paragraph. This class is a community of learners. It will just be a different community since we're an online community. Having shared goals, strength, having shared goals strengthens communities. Our shared goal for this course is to maximize the learning experience for everyone. To do that, we'll begin by working together to collect data. We are not a synchronous course, so we will not be able to work together, but I'll make adjustments for that. And then we're going to take data that's going to be organized and used in later lessons. We will also reflect on activities that influence our learning. So the first item is that you complete question one on the data recording sheet. That's going to be either in your in course student pages or the bundle that you've purchased from the bookstore. In your in course pages you'll see a page that is called the data recording sheet. At the very top it says complete the information below. You'll need to pause this recording and complete the following pieces of information. This information is not going to be shared with other students. I will need the information to collect for future lessons, but um, anytime I share it with the whole class Personal information will not be included to identify who it came from. It's going to work as a, a class, as a group, as a learning community. I just want to point out a couple items on um, a couple of items on this list. I want to point out. I'm going to go ahead and go. I just blue works. I do want to point out, like here, when you're supposed to do the height. Your height is supposed to be expressed as a decimal in feet and in inches. And to do something like that, notice the example is 5 foot 7. And I can erase this part. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. I want to do... I don't want to do that either. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> you do. You can go up here and... Undo, undo, undo. There we go. So what I want you to note is that this number is supposed to be written as a decimal and it's supposed to be written in feet and inches. And to do that, like with our example, we have someone who's 5 feet and 7 inches tall. So we're going to have to write this as 5, five feet and 7 twelfths because well, there are 12 inches and 1 foot. And then we're going to need to calculate, we have our 5, but when we divide 7, 7 divided by 12, we get a decimal value of 0.583333. So I'll go ahead and round this to the nearest hundredth, and we get that this is 5 and 58 hundredths of a, uh, or feet. And so make sure you do uh, calculate this correctly. And I would also like to point out that this is hours per week. And you're going to have to guess about what you think or plan on doing or what you have done in the past or what your goal is to do this semester. But I do want you to note it's hours per week, not per day. And then here, number of cups per day. Uh -oh. And cups would be 8 ounces is 1 cup, or are 1 cup. And your normal water bottle, would you buy cases? There will be about 16 ounces, so they're about two cups. And then also write down the number of hours per week you commute to work and to college. So fill this out very accurately. Go ahead and hit pause and complete part one of the data recording sheet. Now that you've completed part one on the data recording sheet, we're now going to look at question two, which is at the bottom. Do not complete all of those in question two. If we were in a classroom setting or a synchronous online course, we would be able to do this together. I'm going to have to give you the ones to pick. However, 
I do want you to note that there will be words, ideas, processes, concepts this whole semester, and right now you need to decide how you're going to remember, highlight, note all of these ideas. As you do this, you're preparing for your first test and ultimately the final, and it will make your homework better, and you'll also need to make notes on that. However, right now you see the word consensus. It is an agreement, it's not a vote. We're not going to be able to come to a consensus in our online course. I will give you the ones that have happened in class before. So what you're going to need to do is to complete the numbers, the parts that I ask you to on question two. But as you do complete those, I need you to think on question three and question four. Um, how did you come up with these top three in your group? If you were sitting in class, you'd be in a group of two to four students, and how could you have come up with a consensus? Or in prior classes, or your job, or in your family, how do you all come up with consensus? Also, number four, how did your group make your choices and reach that consensus? Again, we're not getting to do this physically, but ponder what would have made um, this possible and also think of some things that are hindrances to making consensus possible. You need a flag, a note, tag, start a glossary, but somehow the word consensus needs to be noted by you. You might want to put a sticky note right here, a tag, a flag, a tab. You might want to start your own glossary. This is a word to include in the ideas of what are good about it and what are not good about consensus. So right now, you're about to hit pause. When you do hit pause, you're going to go to question number two on your data recording page. And what I would like for you to do, I would like for you to complete the number of hours spent exercising per week, the number of hours you are on technology per week, and then I'd also like you to underline the number of hours sleeping per week. Actually, I know we're supposed to do uh, three, but I'd like you to go ahead and do four, and that would be the number of hours working per week. Please note, these are hours, and this number needs to be per week. It does say on the technology, email, video games, texting, Facebook, you might want to include other items that you know could be distractors, or that could be adding to your course this semester. I'll need you to complete these and then you'll be adding this information in our discussion board. And I'll also be receiving this information, and we'll talk about how to get that to me. So right now, hit pause, complete these four on this question number two, and then go back and work on question three and question four. When you're done, uh, uh, unpause, and I'll just talk to you and see you again in just a minute. We'll now be working through questions five, six, and seven. There are things in your life and in your world that will have a positive impact on this course. There are also things that will have a negative impact. So in question number five, think, reflect, and list three activities that would have a positive impact on you and your learning in this class. Also reflect on activities that can negatively affect your ability to learn and write those three things down. Number seven, go on to say, what is one action you could take to minimize negative effects on your learning? don't want to give you any specifics. I want whatever comes to your mind for your life. I have three things that are helpful for you, three things that will be a hindrance, and then one idea of how you could minimize a hindrance. Hit pause, and we'll be back in just a minute. So finally, for this lesson, Lesson 1A, you will uh, notice that in this course, our data is real, and our data is contextualized. The mathematics that we do, it makes sense. In other words, I will need you to collect data on yourself as far as daily water consumption. Again, no one's going to see this information except me, and I just want you to be honest so that whenever I do put all of the classes information together, we get some good report of good information. Not that it's great and everybody's drinking all the water they should, but we get to analyze what's going on and be able to make decisions from there. So on this, question number eight, you're going to need to record the number of cups of water per day, and you're going to need to do it for one, 
to 10 days. I'll need you to start tomorrow. Uh, actually, I mean, I'm sorry, I need you to start today. How many waters have you consumed? At the end of the day, write that down. Again, note that it says cups. And one cup is the same as eight ounces. Make sure you put your answers in cups and not ounces. I'll be telling you through our online support program how to submit this information to me. But for now, that concludes our first lesson. Yay! You've made it through one. Now you need to look at your syllabus and see if you are to do another lesson or if this is it for the day. And I'll also be telling you through our online support program what that means as far as homework. So congratulations, you have finished our first lesson.